Hi everyone, I'll show what you can do if your Windows doesn't boot because your EFI partition no longer exists. The EFI partition is where your Windows boot files are located. If the EFI partition is removed, then there are no Windows boot files, and if there's no boot files, then Windows can't boot. You can check your BIOS boot order for a Windows boot manager entry. If there's no entry, then it's not able to find your Windows boot files. The EFI partition will generally be the first partition, and you'll see that in this case, it's 100 megabytes in size. The next partition I have here is my C drive, and then there's the Windows recovery partition. So I'll show how you can restore your EFI partition. You'll need the Windows installation media, and you'll need to boot into it. On my system, I'm running Windows 10, but it'll work for Windows 11 as well. So I'm going to boot into the Windows 10 installation media. All right, so I'm in the installation media, and I'm just going to hit next. And then I'm going to select repair your computer. And if you have the Windows 11 installation media, it'll look like this and go to next, next, and then select repair my PC, next. Choose your keyboard layout, and then this screen will show up. And I'm going to do troubleshoot, and you'll see this. I'm going to go into command prompt. Go into disk part, type in list disk. This will list your disks and select the disk that you have Windows. So in my case, it's disk zero. Disk one is my USB drive with the Windows installation media. So I'm going to select disk zero. I'm going to type in list part. This will list my partitions. The EFI partition is generally 100 megabytes in size, and the type is system, but we don't see it here. So I'll have to recreate it. And partition number two is my C drive, and it's 476 gigabytes in size. So I'm going to be using 100 megabytes from this partition. So I'll need to have at least 100 megabytes free. If you want to confirm that you have the available space, you can exit disk part, and then you can go into the drive that has your Windows. Most likely it will be the C drive, but if not, you can check the D drive, E drive, F drive, etc. So I'm going to go into my C drive, type in DIR, and here is my C drive. And we can see at the bottom that there's more than enough space. I'm going to clear my screen. I'm going to go back into disk part. And I'm going to select disk zero again. List my partitions. And so it's partition number two. 476 gigabyte partition, so I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to shrink it by 100 megabytes. All right, we see it's been shrunk by 100 megabytes. And if I list my partitions, we'll see my partitions. And now I'm going to create the new EFI partition. Create partition EFI size equals 100. And we see it succeeded. Type in list part again. And we see it's partition number four. And it's selected. So now I'm going to format it as FAT32. I forgot to put in the FS. So it's format FS equals FAT32 quick. And now I'm going to assign it a drive letter so I can access it. I'll assign it the letter Z. Exit out of disk part. Now I'm going to use BCD boot to create the Windows boot files onto the new Z drive. BCD boot, and then the location of your Windows directory, and then forward slash s, and then the new drive, drive Z, and then forward slash f for the type, and it will be UFI. I'm going to go into my Z drive, dir. And we see that there's a new EFI directory. And if I go into it, DIR, go into Microsoft, DIR, go into Boot, DIR, and we see all the files there. And now I'm going to exit out. And now I'm going to turn off my computer, remove my USB drive, and go back into the BIOS. All right, we see in the boot order that there's an entry for the Windows Boot Manager, so that's good. And now I'm going to boot into Windows. Log in. 
and I'm going to go into disk management. And we see the EFI system partition. So that's what you can do if your Windows EFI partition no longer exists. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.